right, we're checking out the only game where barely possible stunts make me barely cling to life. It's GTA. Well, you guys wanted some really impossible challenges, and here we are. Today, I have challenges prepared for me that are said to be so ridiculous. They are called barely possible. The only reason they're called barely possible is because if there wasn't a way to do them at all, I probably wouldn't have the video right now. So for the first challenge, I've been given a sticky bomb. And the reason why is because I have to jump this jump, throw the sticky bomb on one of the blades of the wind turbine, and then blow the bomb up to murder a, a person that is standing on a tiny little pedestal in order to get rid of a wall. I don't know if one of you suggested this or if they just came up with this randomly, but you can see if you make the jump, you are greeted, well, first you're greeted by having your groin get fired through your nostrils. But once you get past that, there is a red wall of sadness. Unlock. And of course, since this is GTA, the only way to unlock anything is to murder someone right there. They may say, great, can't you just cheat it? Nope. I don't know if they put a little invisible wall. They probably put a little invisible wall all around, or I'm pretty sure that's what that looks like. So we have to do it the right way. Is it impossible? No. Is it barely possible? Probably. Because I'm going to be throwing a lot of sticky bombs trying to get one to land. Oh, wow. Trying to get one to land on one of those wind turbine blades. There's actually multiple ridiculous points to this challenge. The first one is getting the bomb to stick on the blade. The second one is blowing the bomb up in just the right spot so that it kills the lady. I definitely have the jump down. We want to kind of do this to the right, lean to the left. Ah! All right. Send it up. Pull it back. Throw the... Well, that wasn't that great. You also need to stick this landing. God, this is like a Rubik's Cube of sadness over here. A big jump! If I can throw... Oh, God. Come on, baby! That was close. God, if I could just get close enough... And just get rid of the... Just get rid of the wall. One million times the jump! Did I... I don't, I think I got it on. <laughs> I, I didn't see where it went after I threw it. Okay. Hold on. She's, she's like, uh, juggling around. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think she died, but I think she wobbled enough, like in fear of clutching away from almost getting murdered by the explosive to make the wall move. And that means that we have our very first checkpoint. Also, she did eventually jump to her death, it looks like. <laughs> Say hello to the barely possible wall ride. These are the cars I get to choose from to complete this. This is the beginning of the wall ride. I say the beginning because I legitimately don't know where this ends. All right, which one of you has the best color scheme? You have the best color scheme. I could also just pick a car based upon performance, but that would be boring. <laughs> Did you guys come with the board or what was that? How bad can it be? Here we go. Now it's been, oh my God. It has been a while since I've done this exact style of wall ride. So, oh God. I'm trying to remember. I think the textures on these tugs or barges or whatever they are. It goes low, but it doesn't go high. Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, okay. So go up and you're dead, stay low. Six to landing. I think they said this wall ride is like six miles long. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting past the first six meters. Okay. Oh, I went through the green light too, here we go. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh, it's, it's all coming back to me now. Oh, thumbnail hole, Jesus! Well. Huh. I mean, I didn't drown, I guess. I'm trying to come down here to see where this goes. I don't see an end. I know you're like, great, you're trying to find a place where you can cheat your way onto the wall, right? Of course I am. Okay, maybe I should have picked performance. Legit. That one. Well, I mean, I guess you're making it easy on me. Wait, that one that wins or that one that fails? Now I'm kind of curious. Here we go. Uh, well. I mean, it felt okay. Okay, concentration. A lack of death is what I need. I am highly allergic to... I am highly allergic to dying. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's hot. Okay. 
Oh, I am wall riding on the fencing. Now I am spinning through the air. Now I am hitting a shipping container very, very fast and probably dying. This is tough wall ride. I've been through a lot in life, but it's been a while since I've done a wall ride that uh, uh, that has so ruthlessly destroyed my psyche. That said, I'm not going to give up. We're going to do this. Oh my God. We're gonna do this just based on pain tolerance. How many miles long is this again? I'm just asking because I don't know if I have enough lifespan in order to complete this. I may age out before I before I get to the end of the wall ride. My life my lifespan, I lose like a year every time I go through that thumbnail hole. I haven't seen another thumbnail hole yet. But if there is one, I'm not gonna be super happy. Okay, we got a lip to a roll to a trance. Well, it's not really a transfer, it's just a roll into the other side of the wall ride. Okay, through that. I'm getting good at that first thumbnail hole. <laughs> Uh, getting good at the thumbnail hole, getting not so good at everything that comes after it. The problem is that the textures are changing, so my center, my center of where I want to be kind of changes based upon the wall ride textures. I wish the wall ride was brighter. Here we go. Ah, no, the thumbnail hole. Well, that was luck. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. No. That was my best run so far. Put a lot of thumbnail holes in here, didn't you? Thumbnail hole number one. No big deal. Onto the roll, onto the. Uh, well. I had a feeling things were going too good. Airmail special delivery. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How you doing? The guy's like, well, my pelvis just got crushed, so not great. And I just vomited out a bunch of money from my spleen. I love spleen money. I love how this other dude is gonna fist fight the car tire. Look at him, he's like, that car tire ain't got nothing on me. Excuse me, I got a wall ride to do. All right, we're gonna roll this. Here we go. We're rolling it. Looking good. Get ready for the dip. Coming in three, two, one. Dip down. Ooh, I almost went way too far over to the left. Okay, we're doing good. This is this is not as good as I had hoped. Come on. Ah, no! oh, tetanus. Ah, yes, yeah, something I hadn't enjoyed in a long time. Blood poisoning. Don't worry, I didn't just jump into the water. I was trying to wash away my pain with some delicious salt. Okay, well, so after this turn, things get unbelievably hard because if you notice, ah, oh God, because if you notice, after I make this thumbnail hole, I have to wind this thing a little bit. So you have to kind of like wind slightly up and then hold it in the middle. And now we're gonna dip downward Right. Yeah. I just missed it. That was the dip down. It looks like there's another thumbnail hole after it. This is tough. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. The first part of this, I'm, I can one time. Getting through this, lining this up, staying on the the gate here, going through our thumbnail hole, transferring on to the turn, going back up here. All this is fine. Even the second thumbnail hole. I can pretty much one time all of this. From here on out, things are real dicey. Okay, that was good. Oh yeah, this is hot. Here we go, here we go, we got it, this is the best run. Top tier run right here, tier S tier, S plus tier. I get, now if I screw this up, I'm gonna hate myself. You can come off the gas a little bit. Nope. And that is where I kind of have stopped making progress. We're close to the water, I can taste it. It tastes like agony. Oh, okay, I made it through. Come on, baby. All right, here we go. We're just gonna, oh God. We're just gonna kiss the water. I'm talking like Michael Bay. Look at that. Look at the water just popping up on the bottom. All right, that was almost there. We are gonna do this. If there's one thing that you must learn from Grey Still Plays, it is that, oh, the best superpower in the world is a high, oh my God. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh my God, I'm close to the end. That looks like an ending. I was gonna say the most powerful superpower is a high pain tolerance. Look at the agility. Look at the lack of self-preservation. Oh, oh yeah, all right. The turn coming up at the end is ridiculous. So not, not down here, not down here, but the final turn, I don't know if you can see it, it's the next one coming up, is insane. Ah, focus. Oh, oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This feels good so far. This feels unbelievably good so far. Okay, up, 
let, let go of the, let the oh my god and we have a checkpoint oh my god i kind of feel like the last thumbnail hole was a gimme but i will take it welcome to the impossible osiris stunt course let me fall to my death here in order for you to truly appreciate just how elaborately dumb this is there is my osiris i have been told this is incredibly satisfying there is a lot here i'm seeing loops i'm i'm seeing transfers i'm seeing thumbnail hole jumps and we're starting off with a boost okay into oh boy uh oh my god okay i think i know what this very first stunt is i think this is a controlled crash basically we're gonna spin and then hit the corner panel. There we go. Six the landing. Oh, it's beautiful. And then fly out of the windshield and eat the tire. That is part of a balanced breakfast. All right, now that I know what we're dealing with. So when we come out of this, we gotta get ready to squeeze it on over to the right. So full turn, corkscrew flip, sticks the landing, and then we're gonna weave it over to the right. Oh, that's kind of a hard thumbnail hole. I'm not gonna lie, this is uh. There is a lot to this. Looking good. Oh yeah, here we go. Perfect. The back end of the car does kind of land a little wonky. You have to make sure that you aim that up correctly. Okay, so we have a second one. Big jump between the two buildings. Full front flip, sticks to the landing. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a loop here. More like a spiral. Oh, with a thumbnail hole. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lie, this, this is very satisfying. That jump loop spiral thing i do i do greatly enjoy this i love the the full you know top gun one dead spin into a front corkscrew flip over there okay so keep it in the middle because there is a there it is there we go there is a thumbnail hole right there i can't pan my camera to see anything and oh we have a teleporter does that count as a checkpoint or is that just a teleporter I guess we'll find out when we restart. And there is a lot more going on here. All right, so we got a spiral into a loop, into a canted wall ride, kinda? I don't even know what that is. So spiral this into a loop, into a, whoa, ribbon. I got some bad news. That teleporter does not act as a checkpoint. You, you have to do the whole thing over again. <laughs> Through the thumbnail hole, no big deal. This part is, pretty simplistic it's right after this spiral that it transfers onto a very thin ribbon so this is a big wall stay in the middle stay in the middle stay in the middle oh god and there's the tiny ribbon onto a wall right ow well guess you're supposed to hug to the right i wouldn't call this a wall ride it's like half a wall ride the big issue here is i hope that if i crash and i restart this I have enough speed to complete whatever this is supposed to be. Oh my god, it is a thumbnail hole spin. Oh, it's a double thumbnail hole spin into a wall ride. If I can get this to look like to work, this should look amazing. Okay, coming around. Wide part of the wall ride spin turn thingy. Okay, now hard right. Yeah, oh, man. Problem also is bouncing, like when you bounce off the wall. Okay, so get ready, Gray. We're going to do the tiny little intermediate. Okay, now to the right, but not too hard. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so you do have to aerially maneuver your car a little bit in order to land it after you go through the two thumbnail holes i'm not gonna lie though that does look absolutely awesome again the front part of this run is not terrible so right squeeze it good good and then tail spin flip yes oh there is literally no room for error on that stunt like no room at all you mess up your turn, God! You mess up your turn even slightly. Oh, I kind of messed up my landing there. I mean, we're still on the challenge. I think I can continue, but uh, that was weird. But yeah, if you're even slightly off with where the tail needs to be, there's no way to continue. Get ready. We're getting through that double thumbnail hole. I don't care what it takes. Give it to me. Come on. One, and then tail, watch it. Yeah! Oh! Oh! I have no idea what comes next. 
Uh, okay, kind of a. Oh my god. Oh, there was an. All right. Oh, I'm just gonna stay in the middle and hope I'm doing making the right choice. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah! Woo! Okay. Uh, that was kind of just luck. Oh my god. Wow! Hold on. Let me squeeze this. Yes! No! Please! Ah! <laughs> That felt really good right up until it didn't anymore. All right. Now I know what I'm dealing with, though. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, I got that down. No, I know just how to tap my back end. All right. So we've got a kind of a loop into a thumbnail hole into a light. Well, mess that up. This entire area. It's just a gigantic mess of spirals and twists. And you can't manipulate the camera enough. So it's not like you can really see any of it coming. This feels good. Yeah, this is good. Here we go. Perfect landing. Okay. Middle. Boost. Middle. Thumbnail hole. Nice. And then drop. Left slightly. Looking good. Ah! Okay, this run has felt pretty good so far. Through the teleporter. Again, that first part getting to the teleporter has not been an issue. It's the 280 things I have to do afterward that are ruthlessly trying to strangle me to death that have been an issue. Down, can't to the right, no big deal. Go through all the boosts, big backflip, through the first thumbnail hole, second thumbnail hole. Stick the landing onto the wall ride, go down onto the very first kind of spirally loop through the thumbnail hole, drop down, watch it. Now I need to get ready because there is a wall grind coming up right here. There it is. Good, good, tail flip and stick the landing. All right, now this is the hard part. We need to shoot this gap. Shoot the gap, baby. Bring it down straight, just barely make the jump and please God, do we have a check? Oh, we have a checkpoint. That was the epitome of barely possible. All right, say hello to the barely possible T20 stunt. I've been given a T20, it's bright green. I will accept this coloration. Green is the color of money and lettuce, and I like both of those things, even though it says gray on the, the license plate. All right, so what do we got here? How impossible is this? A little bit of a wall grind into a, oh, that's how you get onto the wall ride. Oh, whoa, okay. Got a bigger thumbnail hole here. We do have a couple of obstacles just chilling out in the middle of the wall ride. I've done a lot of wall riding with the T20, so I'm very, very used to how it uh, feels. So this shouldn't be that bad. There we go. We have like a little blinder there, so I can't see what's coming up. That's nice of you. Uh, do I need to be in the middle? Yep. All right, muscle memory. Let me have this. Stay on the right, go through the middle, stay on the left. Don't hit the thing. Probably start drifting toward the middle. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm assuming there's a wall grind. Yo, oh, my God. Hey, ho. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I, oh, whoa, whoa. I love how you have to shoot that gap sideways while you're kind of like uh, pancaking through the air. Ragdoll in the car. I appreciate that. That was a chassis slide I was not meaning to do. After everything I have already been through. Whether it was throwing sticky bombs on top of a rapidly moving wind turbine or doing the wall ride from the devil. That was a good, wow. I don't think I've ever done that part that clean before. This pales, I feel, in comparison. I have, I am fully prepared. Oh, hey! <laughs> I am fully prepared for almost everything this thing can throw at me. You're not gonna do like a crazy left or a right or something coming out of this loop, are you? Nope, uh, not really. A little bit of a wall slide. I think I messed that up. Still sticks the landing. Don't know how I managed to recover from that. Onto the wall. Oh my god, this is doing really well. Uh, oh my god! I have learned a thing or two in my pain, and we have a winner! Well, today I learned that the best educator is agony. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.